Have you ever faced a situation in which you just don't know what to do? Nah, probably haven't. Or you're not sure what might be done to you. You pray, of course, but you're just not certain. Yes, so we know God hears our prayers, but what will he do? Or more precisely, will he do what we want him to do? Which actually translates into, can I really trust him? Shalom and greetings from Jerusalem. This is our last teaching day of the week because tomorrow is a Shabbat suite. So this is a good day to go back and consider God's sovereignty because that's what this is all about. And the title of today is The Mountain of the Lord and it's part of the Jerusalem category. So that's where you can find it on novea.org slash media video teachings. Now we know that God is sovereign, but we often forget, especially when we're in a crisis. But here's the key. Focusing on God's victory and the restoration of Jerusalem and the salvation of the Jewish people gives us peace. Why? Because we know by looking at Israel that God is sovereign. We're the modern day miracle. So we're going to look at Micah chapter 4 verses 1 through 3. This is such a great scripture, and there are some wonderful uh, songs that have been set to, to this. Let's listen. Now it shall come to pass in the latter days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established on the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills, and people shall flow to it. And many nations shall come and say, Come! Let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob. He will teach us his ways, and we shall walk in his paths. For out of Zion the Lord shall go forth, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He shall judge between many peoples and rebuke strong nations afar off. They shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. Oh, glory, glory, glory. You know, as I was reading that, I remember the United Nations. They shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift nation, shall not lift up their sword against nation, neither shall they learn war no, anymore. This is part of the United Nations, the same United Nations that keep passing um, resolutions against Israel that we're terrible, we're awful, we're horrible. It just doesn't make sense. And you know, you know scripture tells us that the Gentiles, which includes the United Nations, should rejoice with all that God has promised, is doing, and will do for Israel. So why are there those who claim to love the God of Israel, read the word of the God of Israel, and follow the Messiah of Israel, and yet hate Israel? So that's why we want to pray for Yeshua's body, the church, to truly pray for and rejoice with God over Israel. Amen. There 
there's a line that Tevye, the milkman in, who stars in Fiddler on the Roof, who says basically, because he's talking about, oh, if I were a rich man, lo you remember that? And he's talking about all the people who have tried to kill them and blah, 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 blah. And I think it's in that song, but the, the point is, the line is, how people have tried to destroy the Jewish people. And he comes and he says, we're still here. Yes, we are still here. They have tried and tried and tried to kill us. And they can't do it. They can't do it. Listen, Jeremiah 31, 35. Thus says the Lord, who gives sun for a light by day, and the ordinances of the moon and the stars for a light by night, who disturbs the sea and its waves roar, the Lord of hosts is his name. If those ordinances depart from before me, says the Lord, then the seed of Israel shall also cease from being a nation before me. Thus says the Lord, if heaven above can be measured and the foundations of the earth stretched out beneath, I will also cast off all the seed of Israel for all they have done, says the Lord. Jeremiah 31, verses 35 to 37. God is sovereign. You want to see a modern day miracle? Israel. And every time a Jewish person comes to faith in Yeshua the Messiah, well, the Bible says it's life from the dead. It's a miracle. It is a miracle that God in his sovereignty, in his love and his grace, especially in this day, and it's getting more and more and more, the harvest of Israel is here. So beloved, whatever, whatever issue that you're facing, whatever it is that you're saying, oh yeah, yeah, what is gonna happen? I don't know what's gonna happen. Uh, God is sovereign and God has his plan and God has his purpose for you, for me, for Israel.
With that, I do say, see you tomorrow for a Shabbat sweet. The Hedra Oat. Shalom from Jerusalem.